Question number two, in your experience learning the second language, so probably Spanish for you, um, do you feel that you innately knew more than you learned from the input that you got? Like, um, there's a, a thing called poverty of the stimulus, which is an idea that people learning a language, they know more than they're taught or than they, they, they hear or then they get directly, basically. So when you were learning Spanish or as you study it, do you feel like there's something there's something that you understand or that you know that you were never taught that it's just kind of I mean, it's going back to the same question, but like in your personal learning experience. No. No? I mean I only know as much Spanish as I learned. We learned in a different way back then. We sat in a Spanish lab with headphones on and we repeated sentences and things. And in, in class we talked and repeated what the teacher said. And then I went to a college level course a couple of years ago. That was back in high school. And we practiced. And like we were, like soy is different than s. Mm -hmm. Like one of them is how you're currently feeling, and one of them is kind of how you how you are, mm -hmm. right? And at the time they were trying to teach me that, I couldn't quite get it, and mm -hmm. and now I don't know if it's because I'm teaching other people. It just sometimes things that. My, I was trying to figure out when I was learning Spanish will just pop into my head now that I'm teaching English. I'll go, oh, that's what that was about. But I don't mm -hmm. feel like I know more than they taught me at all. Like, I don't think I could go down to Mexico and know more. Maybe if I was in an immersion program, mm -hmm. I could, but... So, do you think because you are tapping into, like, it's in a different way, but tapping into the, the innateness of language as you're teaching English, that it's bringing these things out in Spanish that you maybe... I guess what it you... feels like is that there's a part of my brain that's getting stimulated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, I can actually feel it. There's a part of my brain that's getting stimulated. When I learn new Burmese words, it's not so much the teaching mm. of English, but when I'm trying to learn a new Burmese word, there's a part of my brain that's getting stimulated that makes me remember the Spanish stuff that I learned. So that leads me to believe that there's a part of my brain that's mm. responsible for that type of learning and that when it gets stimulated I remember things that I learned earlier mm. in, in another language right, right? Um, I think I had that experience when I was in Korea too mm. of that hearing a different language made me remember more Spanish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like the database in there. Mm -hmm. Searching for something different maybe than English? Yeah, something. But as far as like learning a little bit of Spanish and then therefore knowing more of the language that no one ever taught me, mm -hmm. I haven't had that experience. Well, for example, this is like for me in Korean, there, I think I might have told you this before, but there's sentence markers. There's two sets. There's one for an object and one for a subject, and then a whole other set, one for an object and one for a subject. And you use them at different times. But no one ever told me when to use them because they, they couldn't explain why. So I would just make a sentence, and oftentimes my guess would be correct on which one to use because of the way it sounded. So that to me felt like something 
that I didn't learn. I mean, I learned what they were, you know, they're... Um, you figured it out, nobody taught you. Right, and I'm sure I would make mistakes if I was, like, extensively studying, but I don't know the rules, but I tended to be able to put the correct subject and object marker for that sentence, because there's two and I didn't know, so... You've never had an experience like that, though, with... Like, where there was something that you just got that wasn't ever actually formally taught. Mm-mm. Mm. Not me, <laughs> but maybe that's not my area of expertise, <laughs> learning another language.